This is Algebra 1, Section 1.1, Evaluating Expressions, and 1.2, Applying Order of Operations. So we have a couple of definitions to go over. One is a variable. That's a letter used to represent one or more numbers. That could be the letter X, could be letter Y. In mathematics, we use any one of those to represent a number. The next one is an algebraic expression, which is an expression that includes at least one of these variables, such as 2x plus 5. That's an algebraic expression. A power is an expression that is repeated multiplication of the same factor. The base is a factor to be multiplied. And the definition of an exponent is the number of times to multiply the base. So these are our key definitions for section 1.1 and 1.2. The key concept in the order of operations is number one, parentheses, two exponents and square roots, three multiply and divide from left to right, four add and subtract from left to right. And some of you may remember this thing called PEMDAS, right? It stands for parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and then subtract. So the order in which we do things is important, otherwise we could end up with different answers. So one of the examples that we're going to go through today is evaluating the expression. So notice that the expression is this. This is the expression t over 5 because it has a variable in it. The t is the variable, right? So we're going to evaluate this expression when t is equal to 4.5. So what that means is I take 4.5 and I substitute it in for t. So I take 4.5 and I divide it by 5 using some long division here and I divide it into 5. So 5 goes into 4 0 times. 5 goes into 45 9 times because 9 times 9 is 45 so we have an answer of 0 0.9. So this expression has a value of 0 0.9 when t is 4.5. We're going to evaluate this expression, same directions, evaluate the expression. This whole thing right here is the expression, and I have some variables. I have a variable x, and I have a variable y. I'm going to substitute x for 3 and y for 4. So that gives me this, 1 half, parentheses, 2, x is a 3, plus y is 4, and I'm going to raise the entire expression to a power of fourth. Now, PEMDAS says this. I need to do parentheses first, so I'm going to work inside the parentheses. So that is one half. Two times three is six, plus four times four, because multiplication comes before the addition. So then I add inside parentheses. I say one half. I have ten to the fourth power. Now I do x. I do. Um, uh, exponents now because that's what it says to do parentheses exponents so I've done my parentheses part now I'm gonna do my exponents 10 to the fourth power is one half that literally means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 10 times 10 is a hundred a hundred times 10 is a thousand a thousand times 10 is 10,000 so this is one half of 10,000 which should be, of course, 5,000. So this expression right here has a value of 5,000 when x is 3 and y is 4. All right, we have a story of the day. Here's what the story says. Is Jen was a leading soccer, the leading scorer in her soccer team, sorry. She scored 120 goals and had 20 assists in her high school career. The number n of points awarded is given by 2g plus a, where g is the number of goals and a is the number of assists. How many points did she earn? Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to pick out um, the information that we don't need. Okay, we don't need to know uh, that she was a leading so scorer on her soccer team. It's nice. We don't need to know that, right? We also need to know, to know that uh, she was in her high school career. Okay. Um, what else don't we need to know? Uh, let's see here. Well, that looks pretty good. 
Now let's concentrate on some things that we know, some important information. We know that she had 120 goals. She had 20 assists. Um, we have an expression here, 2G plus A. We know that N is the number of points. We know that G is the number of goals. And we know that A is the number of assists. And the thing that we want to know, how many points did she earn? How many points? So we're looking for n, number of points. So our expression is this, 2g plus a. Well, g is the number of goals, and she scored 120 goals. So that's 2 times 120, plus a is the um, number of assists, and she scored 20 assists. So therefore, she scored 2 times 120. I'm going to multiply first. That's 240 plus the 20, which gives us 260 points. And that is what we were looking for. How many points did she earn? Okay, it's your turn. We're going to evaluate when x is equal to 4 and evaluate uh, 2 thirds to the fourth power. So when x is equal to 4, we're going to have 9 times 4 all divided by 3 times 4 plus 2. That's going to give us 9 times 4 of 36, all divided by 3 times 4 plus 2 is 6. That gives us 36 over 18, which gives us a value of 2. Beautiful. On this side, we're going to take 2 to the 4th, all divided by 3 to the 4th, which gives us 2 times 2 times 2 on the top and 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. On the bottom, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81.